We are going to France. France is one of the largest countries in Europe and plays an important role in world history, politics, economics, science, and culture. It is a core member of the European Union, the United Nations, and several other international organizations. With its rich history dating back to prehistoric times, France has had a profound influence on the development of art, philosophy, science, and politics. French culture is known and appreciated worldwide for its cuisine, fashion, literature, and contributions to the arts, from classical music and opera to cinema and modern art. French wine and cheese are just two examples of the culinary traditions deeply rooted in French heritage. And now we go to the capital of France called Paris. This world-famous metropolis is known for its rich history, art, fashion, and gastronomy. Located on the River Seine, in the heart of the Ile-de-France region, Paris is home to some of the most iconic sites and monuments in the world. It is a city with a lot to do, and which should definitely be on your travel wish list. Paris owes its romantic reputation to its picturesque streets, elegant architecture, beautiful parks, an overall atmosphere of charm and elegance. Many couples choose Paris as a destination for marriage proposals, honeymoons, or simply to spend time together, thanks in part to this romantic setting. In this video, we show you the 10 sites you can do in Paris. But before we go any further, don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you have any nice suggestions, be sure to leave them below in the comments. But now the moment we've been waiting for, the 10 sites you can do in Paris. The Eiffel Tower, a global symbol of France and one of the most recognizable monuments in the world, dominates the Paris skyline. Designed by the engineer Gustave Eiffel and his collaborators for the 1889 Universal Exhibition, marking the centenary of the French Revolution, the tower was originally the subject of much criticism from the public and the art community, who considered the design too radical. With its impressive height of 324 meters, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest man-made structure in the world until the completion of the Chrysler Building in New York in 1930. Originally intended as a temporary structure, it was decided to keep the tower forever. The Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris, often referred to simply as Notre Dame, is one of the most iconic and historically significant monuments in Paris and a masterpiece of French Gothic architecture. Located on the Ile de la Cité in the heart of Paris, construction of the cathedral was started in 1163 under Bishop Maurice de Sully and completed in the 13th century. Over the centuries, the cathedral has undergone several restorations and changes, with each period leaving its own mark on the structure and interior. Notre Dame is famous for its architectural features, including the carved portals, the imposing towers, the flying buttresses, and the colorful stained glass windows that illustrate biblical stories. Perhaps most striking are the three large rose windows, which are among the largest in the world. The cathedral also houses a number of religious and artistic treasures, including Christ's alleged crown of thorns. Often described as the world's most beautiful avenue, the Champs-Élysées stretches for 1.9 kilometers through the heart of Paris, from Place de la Concorde in the east to the Arc de Triomphe in the west. Named after the Elysian Fields, the paradise for heroes in Greek mythology, this historic boulevard is both a commercial street lined with luxury shops, theaters, and cafes, and an important venue for national festivities and parades. The Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Paris, better known as the Sacré-Cœur, is one of the city's most iconic monuments, located at the top of Montmartre Hill, the highest point in the city. Construction of the Basilica began in 1875 and was completed in 1914, but the church was not consecrated until after the First World War in 1919. The design, a mix of Romano-Byzantine style, is by French architect Paul Abadie, who won a national competition to lead the project. Located in the city of Versailles, about 20 kilometers west of Paris, the Palace of Versailles is one of the most impressive and famous royal residences in the world. Originally built as a hunting lodge for King Louis III in 1624, it was expanded by his son Louis the Palace of Versailles 
is a masterpiece of 17th century architecture and symbol of the absolute monarchy of the Ancien Regime. The complex includes the palace itself, with its lavishly appointed staterooms, the famous Hall of Mirrors, the royal apartments, and the extensive gardens designed by André Le Nôtre. The gardens are decorated with fountains, statues, and neatly maintained hedges, which are a perfect example of the French formal garden style. Seine river cruises range from short sightseeing cruises to extended candlelight dinner cruises. They offer a perspective of the city that you can't get from the street, with unparalleled views of the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, Notre Dame, the Musée d'Orsay, and many other sites. Many of these cruises depart from central Paris and sail along the scenic banks of the Seine, passing historic bridges such as the Pont Neuf and Pont Alexandre III. Galerie's Lafayette is an iconic department store in Paris, located on Boulevard Haussmann in the 9th arrondissement. It was founded in 1894 by Théophile Bader and Alphonse Kahn and has become a symbol of French luxury and fashion. With its beautiful architecture, including an impressive glass and steel dome designed by architect Ferdinand Chanute and glass artist Jacques Gruber, the building itself is a sight to see. Les Invalides, officially known as l'Hôtel National des Invalides, is an impressive complex in Paris that was originally built as a hospital and home for wounded soldiers. Founded by King Louis XIV in 1670, Les Invalides served not only as a military hospital, but also as a place of rest and rehabilitation for veterans of France's many wars. The complex includes several buildings and courtyards, including churches, museums, and former hospital wards. Its most notable features are the Golden Dome of the Dome des Invalides, under which Napoleon Bonaparte is buried, and the Musée de l'Armée, one of the largest military museums in the world, which exhibits an extensive collection of weapons, uniforms, and artifacts document France's military history. Located in the Montmartre district of Paris, the Moulin Rouge is a world-famous cabaret opened in 1889 by Joseph Oler and Charles Zidler. The name, which means Red Mill, is derived from the distinctive red windmill on the roof of the building. Since its opening, the Moulin Rouge has established itself as a center of Parisian nightlife and has become famous for its spectacular dance shows, in particular the Cancan, an energetic and acrobatic dance that has become synonymous with the cabaret. From the beginning, the Moulin Rouge was a place of extravagance and entertainment where visitors could enjoy dancing, music, and variety shows. Over the years, it has become a symbol of the Belle Epoque period, a time of cultural flourishing and artistic freedom in Paris at the end of the 19th century. Located in the heart of Paris, on the right bank of the Seine, the Louvre Museum is the largest art museum in the world and a historic monument in France. It is famous for its exceptional collection of more than 38,000 objects, ranging from prehistory to the 21st century, spread over an area of more than 72,000 square meters. Originally built as a fortress in the late 12th century under King Philip II, the Louvre was transformed and expanded into a royal palace in the following centuries. In 1682, Louis XIV moved the royal residence to the Palace of Versailles, and the Louvre began to function as a place to exhibit the royal collections. It was officially opened as a public museum in 1793 during the French Revolution. The Louvre's collection includes some of the most famous works of art in the world, including Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, and the Wings of Samothrace. As you have seen, this beautiful romantic city has a lot to offer. It is definitely worth visiting this city once. Don't forget to subscribe so you can travel with us to beautiful countries and cities next time. And if you have any nice suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments.